Vinny and I'm the Eurogymy Delegate for Medicine who is attending the SCOMI sessions and um, I've had a great time. My favourite part um, of Eurogymy has been finding out about the medical education systems from different countries. We did, <laughs> we brainstormed the um, strengths and weaknesses of um, each medical education system from around Europe and it was really good to see how different people um, have benefited from what their medical education system does and how we can change the UK system to benefit our students even more. And um, I also really enjoy the policy session run by Marie uh, because I know one of medicine's strengths is policy making and it was really nice for me to find out a bit more about it and sort of get my first steps into being involved in sort of uh, policy development. So it's really good. Sarah, I was the UK delegate to SCOS, the Standing Committee for Public Health, this year in Greece at Euregmi. It was my first IFMSA meeting and it was absolutely incredible. The highlight for me was definitely hearing what the other European members have been doing at a national level. So the activities that they run at their medical schools for other students, to raise awareness about public health issues, the projects that they run in their communities to educate. Um, and also to hearing about the level of support that they receive from their local health authorities, their medical schools, the government, um, was really amazing. And I'm really looking forward to bringing back my experiences to Medicine UK. Um, I also enjoyed being in a room full of people that were keen to collaborate, keen to share ideas, to teach each other, to learn from each other. Um, yeah, that's something that I, experience at a whole new level at Eurogmi. Being at an IFMSA conference, again, being actually immersed in the experience, you learn so much, you gain so much, no matter how much you prep for it, um, it still feels new, it's amazing. I would recommend it to any global health enthusiast, any student, it's an incredible experience, you gain so much, you can contribute so much and you meet and get to know like a really fantastic bunch of people. So apply for IFMSA meetings for sure. Hi, my name is Lee Van Ahmed and I'm the, the lead delegate at this year EGME 2016 in Greece, that's Saloniki. And lead delegate means that I went to the president's sessions and um, it was really interesting because we spoke about the European strategy a lot. So I got a chance to input what medicine's viewpoint on it was. So I like looked at what we'd written in our long-term development plan and tried to get the similar themes that we'd get in like implemented across the whole European network. So they've got an idea of where we want to go as well in the next three years. Also, we discussed um, some of the policy statements that had been submitted prior and broke out into small circles to have a discussion on that. But probably the most exciting part being um, the lead delegate was that I got to go to the plenary and vote. So I sat next to my very good friend from Turkey who helped me understand the process and tell me when to um, put my card up and when not to put my card up, which was helpful. <laughs> but yeah, um, you should definitely consider coming next year. It was really enjoyable. And if you've got any questions, you can always drop me a line at my email address. Hi, my name's Jess um, and I am one of the UK delegates to the 2016 Eurogmi in Thessaloniki. I attended the SCORA sessions, so these are basically sexual and reproductive health, which includes HIV and AIDS. And one of my highlights of my time at Eurogmi was having the opportunity to talk with a number of people from across Europe all about issues in this field. So we talked about quite a lot of contentious issues, which included abortion, um, sexual harassment, uh, PrEP, and um, actually we had an external speaker who came in and talked about transgender rights. So it was really interesting to hear other people's views on these issues and they actually did vary a lot more than I thought they would. Um, but also everybody in the different countries were committed to having access to safe abortion and to recognising the issue of sexual harassment. And it was really interesting for me to find out what people were doing in other countries so I could come back to the UK and have some potential ideas for what medicine could do and there was people doing some really incredible things in their countries um, for example in Barcelona they hold a music festival every year in like basically all the money um, and all the proceeds go to AIDS and it's all about raising AIDS awareness so that was something that I thought was really interesting um, and a potential for medicine and um, 
in Hungary, they celebrated a Women's Day. And so they had workshops on um, gender violence and they had self-defense classes. So basically trying to educate people about the issue of gender violence. Um, and those are only two examples, but there were so many countries doing so many incredible things. And it was really interesting to find out what other people were doing. And there were a lot of things I definitely think Meds in the UK could um, consider possibly um, looking into doing here. Um, but yeah, it was just a really interesting experience and I really enjoyed it. And I definitely recommend it to anybody who is considering going. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name's Anita. I'm part of the Medicine UK delegation to Uregmi in um, Thessaloniki, Greece. And I was on the Standing Committee on Human Rights and Peace, SCORP. Um, one of the highlights of the trip for me was the opportunity to write, to write a statement, um, which we read out at the plenary this year. Uh, it was such an amazing learning experience for me and the chance to just learned so much from other people who were so passionate about a similar issue which the, what we were talking about was refugees and the EU Turkey deal um, and just learning from people who are a lot more experienced in policy writing was great um, and Maya and Alice thank you so much for teaching me you were amazing I love Sweden um, yeah <laughs>